What's up, everybody? I got a huge big bad toy store pile of loot that came in over the weekend. And um, I've also got one coming Tuesday because, of course, if you tell them to ship out the pile of loot, you get a ton of things that clear as soon as they ship it. So uh, I've got another video coming when that package comes. But I have definitely been taking advantage of their daily deals that they've been popping up that are like deals that only last 24 hours or so. I have grabbed several figures that I had previously canceled um, just due to too many pre-orders dropping at once. And um, I just never went back and got them. And um, now they're popping up and they're daily deals and I'm getting uh, figures that I wanted for 40 to 50% off. Uh, one of those figures is right there. That is the NECA Doc Brown, where he's in the mall parking lot right there. Uh, it was one of the last ones I needed for the Back to the Future line. And uh, I was real happy to get that. And like I said, I had it on pre-order and canceled it a long time ago. I only paid, I want to say, $18 for this. So uh, real happy to grab that. Another figure that I grabbed off their uh, daily deals was um, a Swarm Sentry. Um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't too much like the Swarm figures until I read the novelization of Action Force. After reading that, it does make sense the way they look, and uh, they're pretty cool, you know. Uh, so grabbed uh, this for my Action Force collection right here. Again, this was part of their daily deal, so super cheap. Uh, picked up another Terminator figure. I've previously showed um, that figure um, on a previous video. That was part of the daily deals, and I think I paid $55 for that. And when it first came out, I paid, I wanna say 110 to 115, give or take. And uh, it's got three head sculpts. So uh, I took advantage and grabbed another one. So uh, super happy with that. Uh, right there, speaking of Mofex figures, I picked up the Deadpool right there, which I previously had on pre-order and just canceled it because I had too many things clearing at once. And also the Wolverine right there. And those, again, popped up on the Big Bad Toy Store Daily Deals. I got each one, I think, one was 50 and one was 55, give or take. So, uh, was real happy to grab that. I've been grabbing a lot of Star Wars Black Series when they go on sale. However, since they did release a new R2-D2 in the Return of the Jedi Anniversary line, I grabbed this immediately because this one scales a little bit bigger than the ones that we previously had. I've watched some of the uh, reviews on this. So um, it was real difficult for me to find an R2-D2 unit back in the day. And uh, I'm still gonna keep my other droids because in my um, Star Wars universe, droids come in many uh, sizes. And it's all about perspective if you're taking a picture. But I did want for close-up shots to have a true-to-scale R2 unit to go along with my Star Wars figures. So definitely happy to grab this and did not mind paying the normal retail price. So um, grab that. Right here we grab the Urban Commando from Action Force. So uh, really looks good. I might go back and get a couple more because, again, this has three head sculpts and it's kind of got some weight to it uh, on this card back. And I know a lot of people probably prefer the box cards like you just saw with the Sworn Century, but I kind of like this bubble wrap. It kind of takes me back to when I was a kid, uh, all the figures that were on blister backs. So um, I don't keep none of my packaging, but I have now learned to start saving uh, those points because the first couple of figures, I thought they just put that on there just to do it. And uh, I still need to get that undercover Condor figure. Um, so I have been saving my points now since uh, you actually get to use them. Um, I picked this up. It was not on the daily uh, sale, but it was on sale. 
This is the War for Cybertron uh, Pipes figure. Um, nothing really big to say. He's a pretty low-key character, but uh, for the price I paid, I was happy to grab it to have a representation on the shelf. So ecstatic to grab that. Up there towards the top, I think that's going to be Shrapnel. I can't recall his name. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Shrapnel right here. Uh, these Insecticons are hard to find. I still got to find Bombshell. But right now, this is on Amazon for like $45.99. And it popped up on Big Bad Toy Store at normal price. Um, I think it was like maybe $24.99. But uh, for some reason, I don't know if they just did a small run of these. But it kind of reminds me of the whole... Um, what is the yellow Lambo's name? I cannot figure out Sideswipe's brother, uh, but I never could find that figure, and it's stupidly priced in the aftermarket now. Sunstreaker, that's what it is. I, th I still haven't been able to find that. I'm hoping with that release of the five-figure cartoon colors, it will drop the price of the initial release so I can grab it. But yeah, grab this. Uh, was happy to see it. It's been in my wish list on Amazon for a good minute see another figure that i picked up is the mezco snake eyes right there uh, see. i've watched a couple of reviews on this one um and uh looks real good a lot of accessories a ton of accessories i haven't opened up any of my mezco gi joe's yet i'm waiting to get a nice proper shelf to put those on uh, especially with the Moffex figures, because I just want to display those a little bit different than general retail. And then the last figure I got is Blowback in the green camouflage sniper ghillie suit. I don't know if you can see it too well. There we go, got the light. Now what's cool is that face scope right there has one eye open like he's looking down range. And I think that's very cool. The case it comes with is super like wide but it looks really nice uh, i've seen some mixed reactions on the ghillie suit um but it is what it is i'm ecstatic to get that i see where people have been using this figure to make i believe it's a crazy legs custom for gi joe i can't recall if that's crazy legs with all the camo i could have that wrong but yeah this was all the Big Bad Toy Store. The last thing I did grab off Amazon was this Marvel Siren. I uh, just wanted her to be with my X-Force team because um, I had no other figure of her in that representation. I've already purchased the uh, Build-A-Figure off of Macari because uh, this wave di didn't grab me. But I did like the Build-A-Figure. I did like the Havoc figure, which I also picked up, and now the Siren. I wasn't a big fan of the other ones. They're good-looking figures. I just wasn't a big fan of those. Uh, so, um, yeah, going to have that with my X-Force um, team. Got this off of Amazon for, like, I think $7.99, $5.99, something like that. It was super cheap. Um Nice head sculpt, but definitely missed the opportunity of an alternate head sculpt with her screaming. I mean, that is her power. That's like sending out Wolverine with no claws. Um, you know, it's just, that's her powers, uh, her vocals. But uh, anyway, glad to have her with the X-Force team, and uh, that's the haul. Again, I got another one coming this Tuesday. Um I'm looking forward to that one. It's a lot of G.I. Joe and uh, two more Moth X figures. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you like my haul for this week. I am really loving some of these pickups I've been grabbing. Uh, let me know if you're into any Moth X, NECA, Marvel Legends, Transformers, uh, Mezco, uh, what you like it collecting and uh, doing some photography with. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. Out of here.